Hi everyone, I am here with a makeup lesson from the material that we would have done this week in our lesson in school. Um, I am right now on page 11 in the lesson book. It says Tone Builder on the top, so if you'd like to flip to that page in the book, you can do that, or you can just read along with me right now. Um, there's only one new thing this week, and it's Forte, which means play loudly. Um, and so we're going to start by looking at number 38. You can see that that dynamic marking to play loud is right there on the bottom. 38 should really be a review. There shouldn't be anything too challenging about this. Um, you can see there's only three notes. There's this right here, which is open D, no fingers. Then we have this, which is E, one finger on the D string. And last but not least, we have um, open A, open A string, no fingers. So this one should really be a review. I'm going to play it right now for you. Um, if you need to stop and read the notes, you can, but right now I'm going to go ahead and play it. So here's number 38. One, two, Three, four. Retake. Good. So again, that one should have been pretty simple. Uh, if you need to pause and go back and do that again, you can. But I'm actually going down now to number 39. And 39 says, can you find the D major scale? And if you look right here, starting on this high D and follow these notes going down, you'll see this really is a backwards D major scale. So we're going to start here on this high D and work our way to the end, then go back and tackle the beginning in a minute. So let's play each of these notes. We have two high Ds, which is three fingers on the A string. Then two C sharps two B's, one finger, two A's, two G's, which is three fingers on the D string, two F sharps, two E's, and three D's. If we put that all together without the spaces, this is the, the stops in the middle, this is what it will sound like. challenging. We've played lots of scales before. That should just kind of be right under your fingertips now. But let's go back to the beginning of this. Let's go through real slowly and read these notes from the top. So we have D, 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 A, A, B, A, A, D, E, F sharp, E, D, D. And so you can see mostly notes on the D string. There is one B, which is one finger on the A string. Let's, I'm going to go through and play this really slowly. So here we go from the beginning. D. <laughs> trouble with that, you can pause it and go back and play that again. But right now I'm going to put the two sections together. So from the beginning all the way to the end. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So again, if you have troubles with that one, you can go back and do that one again. Um, number 40 is unique because it starts on an E, one finger on the D string. We don't normally start uh, with one finger. There are a few rests in here. There is one retake towards the end. So let's, this only uses, though, notes on the D string. So again, this should be more of a review. You should, at this point, be very comfortable playing these notes. Um, so I'm going to play number 40 for you, and feel free to play along with me. Finding that E, it should sound like this. So make sure you can find... Da, right on your instrument. We don't want anything lower or anything higher. We want right on the money. Okay, here's number 40. One, two, three, four.
great. So those are the, the three that we covered in our lesson. Um, at, as you saw, number 38 and 40 were kind of review. 39 had some new stuff in it, some, some more challenging things that you had to really think about what notes you were playing. The homework for this week is on page 12. And if you go to page 12, you're going to see we've played a lot of these already. Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, number 44, we played in our first concert. It doesn't hurt to review that, especially if you had trouble with it earlier this year. 45 is Mary's Lamb. Many of you have already looked ahead to play that. But again, if you haven't done that yet, um, that's Mary Had a Little Lamb. You probably, probably know what that song is supposed to sound like. And then the last two, 46 and 47, are what we call duets. So there's two lines of music. Um, and you, you just pick one part to play. And what I'm asking for this week is that you learn the top part. And what I mean by that, if you follow my mouse, is that you're going to play this whole top line of music. And then when you get to the end of the top line, you're going to skip down to here, to the second line, and play that. And that's called playing the top part. The idea with a duet is that somebody could be playing the bottom line at the same time as you're playing the top line. And what we might do in our next lesson is you can play the top and I will play the bottom. Um, but the top line tends to be a little bit more challenging, which is why I want you to learn that. Uh, same thing with number uh, 47, Ode to Joy. I just want you to learn the top the top lines here. And I, I will make another video playing those to demonstrate what they sound like. But for right now, they should be pretty simple. It's mostly D string notes. There's a few A string notes um, in there. But like I said, mostly on the D string. So that was our uh, what we did in the lesson and the homework. And so I will see you in person next week at your lesson. So um, keep up the good work, keep practicing, and I will see you at your next lesson.